Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'm going to answer the question of whether you need to get antibody testing after your vaccination to ensure that it's working. Well, the short answer is probably no, but there are some situations in which it may be helpful, but you need to ensure that you get the right type of testing and at the right time. So let me explain. I had a 50 year old patient ask me this very question. She was suffering from long COVID symptoms and wanted to ensure that the mRNA vaccine that she received several months ago was working. When we ran the COVID antibody test through the local lab, her results showed no detectable antibodies. She was dismayed and honestly, I was surprised. But then my mom, who's a bone marrow transplant recipient and who received her mRNA COVID vaccine several months ago as well, went to see her oncologist recently and they ran an antibody test on her and she got back a specific number value as well as a positive result. And honestly, I was surprised by this too. Did they order a different antibody test? So I did some research. Let's start by simplifying the immune system. There are two types of immunity. One is called humoral immunity and is the one that produces antibodies. The second type is cellular immunity and that's run by B and T cells. Let's talk about cellular immunity first and I'm going to focus just on the T cells. T cells learn to identify and destroy the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Virtually everyone infected with the coronavirus seems to develop T cell responses and they're maintained for at least eight months, according to a study published in Science Magazine in February of this year. The study was based on over 250 blood samples and discovered that 93% of the samples had T cell memory to SARS-CoV-2 at one month after infection. And 92% showed high levels of this T cell memory at six months to eight months after infection. This is great news. But T cells are harder to detect and to study. So when it comes to immunity, antibodies have received all of the attention from media and labs. So let's shift our attention back to antibodies since this is what the laboratory testing is focused on. The coronavirus carries several antigens. And these are proteins or pieces of a protein that can cause the body to produce antibodies. The most powerful antibodies recognize a piece of the coronavirus's spike protein. And antibodies that recognize the spike protein can neutralize the virus and prevent infection. But oddly enough, the typical run-of-the-mill antibody testing that I ordered and that most labs will run is specifically designed to look for antibodies to a coronavirus protein called the nucleocapsid or the N protein because after infection, those antibodies are plentiful in the blood. But these antibodies are not as powerful as those required to prevent virus infection, nor do they last as long. And more importantly, antibodies to the N protein are not produced by the vaccines authorized in the United States. And what antibodies do the vaccines produce? Yep, you guessed it. The vaccines provoke antibodies to the spike protein. So why in the world did the labs not develop an antibody test to detect antibodies to the spike protein? Well, there is a certain type of lab test called an ELISA test that does give a quantitative, which is a number, and qualitative result, meaning positive or negative, of antibodies to the spike protein. And as I found out later, this ELISA test is the one that my mom obtained. And the test that I ordered for my patient was the run-of-the-mill antibody test that tested for the N protein. So if you absolutely have to check to see if the vaccine is working for you, you'll likely get a run-of-the-mill antibody test that checks for the N protein. So it's important to wait to be tested at least two weeks after the second shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines when the antibody levels will have risen enough to be detectable. And for some people receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, that period may be as long as four weeks. And then we don't really know how long these levels will be detectable. So don't be alarmed if when you get a test after the vaccine or after you've had COVID, your COVID antibody level is negative. At the end of the day, if you really want to check your immunity to COVID after the vaccine, you should get the ELISA test that checks for the antibodies against the spike protein. 
But this should really just be for special populations like immunocompromised patients. Your regular doctor won't know how to order this probably, and it will likely be really expensive anyway. Thanks for joining me.